we're going to look at materials connected with some agricultural activities. The farm is an interesting place to be with because when you look at the farm, so many activities take place in the farm and the farm being an interesting place for the farmer plays important role in production of crops for man's consumption. So what are some activities that take place in the farm that we are going to consider? The content, as I said, is the effect of agricultural activities on the ecosystem. Our keywords for today are agricultural activities, also referred to as agricultural practices, while the ecosystem will refer to all the living things and non-living things found in the environment that these agricultural practices can affect either negatively or positively. And as we take this content, we are going to use pictures to explain to you the different types of agricultural activities. Now, first on our description is bush burning. The practice of setting the entire vegetation on fire in order to prepare the land for farming. As you can see from this image, what do you think will be the effect of bush burning to the land? As you can see from the screen, there will be pollution, right? There will be destruction of the habitat of the animal. There will be increase in temperature of the soil. And there will be also the killing of soil organisms. You don't need to forget that there will be increase in organic matter. So this method of farm practice have its own negative consequences. But it's so common in Nigeria. Farmers use this as a shortcut to prepare the land for farming. It's a practice that needs to be discouraged. Currently in the world, can you think of places that bushfire has riddled the country and turned it upside down? Look at the bushfire in California that came as a, as a result of heat wave and the current one taking place in Turkey, in Europe there. Second practice for consideration is this practice called tillage. Tillage locally we use hoe in our country to loosen the soil. When we lose the soil, what are the effects of losing the soil? If you don't use hoes, we can use our cattle with local plow to till the soil. Sometimes modern farmers are using tractors and then we also have local farmers using the plow here. Tillage have its effect. As you can see, tillage itself simply means the loosening of the soil in order to sow plants or prepare the land for farming. What are the effects? One, it allows air to enter the soil. It breaks soil texture. As you can see, it can also allow water to enter the soil and expose the soil microorganisms. And when you till the soil, as you can see, when the soil is tilled, you see that it can be exposed to wind erosion if that soil is over tilled. This is tillage for you. After tillage, we have this practice. What do you notice these women are doing? These women are practicing the art of clearing the bush. This is called bush clearing. In bush clearing, local women in their numbers can come into the village as a community to cut down the vegetation in order to prepare the land for farming. This is another practice that exposes the soil to sunlight and destroy natural habitats of animals. People sometimes use very heavy machineries like tractors in order to carry out bush clearing. As you can see, tractors and modern machinery can be used to clear the bush. And what do you notice here? The soil is exposed. These are farm practices or agricultural activities that destroy the natural habitats of this animal, expose the soil to tense temperature, expose the soil to erosion. As I said, bush clearing is 
another agricultural practice. Now the next practice is what you can see here, known as pesticide application. Here, pesticides are chemicals that are used to selectively kill agricultural insects or pests that can reduce crop production. But as you see, when these pesticides are applied, sometimes they can kill the plant that they are meant to protect. The pesticides can accumulate in the soil sometime and then result in change in the pH of the soil. Pesticides can sometimes be washed into water bodies, thereby resulting in water pollution. So everything that has advantage has its own effect. This image, as you can see on the screen, tells us some of the impacts of pesticides in our immediate environment, which is the reason why, as much as possible, we want to be very, very conscious when we are using pesticide. Now, let's take a look at this point where we have somebody here fetching water from the stream, right? And we look at this point here where we call the point of contamination. Now, the green, land, the green structure here will serve as the land surface, right? This green part here will also serve as land surface, and then this will be like a water drainage. And these are layers of the earth crust. Is that okay? Now, when pesticides are used sometimes, the pesticides can contaminate the soil. The pesticides, when you apply them onto crops here, they can also be accumulated inside the crop and then enter the soil. When they enter the soil, they can be washed with rainwater through the soil and then go into the drainage of water. Sometimes these pesticides can directly go into the soil by a process called seepage. They just mix with underground water. And then when they mix underground water, they can still go into the soil and accumulate by a process called leaching and they find their way into our drainage inside the water. When humans come to the stream, as you can see, to fetch water, what happens? They can get themselves contaminated with the pesticides. And these pesticides, when we find them being washed by rainwater into the stream, pesticides sometimes can be part of the materials that evaporate in water vapor and it can fall as rainfall into the soil. So we want to be very careful how pesticides are applied because as you see it like this, there's also the massive industrial application of pesticide as an agricultural practice. Then we have the next method of um, agricultural practice that need to be explained. And that method, of course, is referred to as fertilizer application. As you can see, here we have fertilizer. Fertilizer are inorganic materials that eat plant growth. But this is the type that is called urea, popularly called the NPK. When you apply fertilizer, it eats plant growth. But apart from the fact that it increases soil fertility as an effect, Aiding plant growth as an effect. Excessive fertilizer can also be washed into the river and result in water pollution. These are the effects of fertilizer. That is okay. Then we have the other farm practice that needs to be mentioned, and that of course is a is still fertilizer application. You can see the fertilizer is being applied here, right? They have their own effect. And at this point, we have another farm practice that is known as irrigation. Irrigation is a practice where I believe the presentation was simple enough for you to understand the various agricultural practices that are common in Nigeria. The PowerPoint will be sent to you, as I said, and I hope you had a great time learning from this lesson today. My name, once again, is Mr. Simon Ape. I wish you happy learning session and continue to understand our content. 
Mr. Lazarus and Mrs. Titus, Mrs. Abba, sorry, and myself will be presenting the PowerPoint notes which you have to copy. Have a great day and bye.